So guys, welcome back. Uh, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, as you can see, it's glorious, apart from a couple of grey clouds um, hovering around. But uh, other than that, it's absolutely glorious. And I'm at home today, um, but I've got a job to do. Um, so I thought I'd bring you along for the journey. So uh, let's crack on with it, shall we? So for those of you that follow me on Instagram will know that I bought this raised bed a few weeks ago now. And uh, what I actually plan on doing with it is putting some lighting in it, um, which we can operate from indoors via kinetic switching. So um, the plan is, is we're going to put a couple of lights at the front, sort of um, surface match brick lights. And then when we get this filled with uh, earth and soil, topsoil, we're going to put some spike lights in. So let's, uh, let's have a look around this um, raised bed first of all, and then we'll show you the materials and how we plan on doing that job. So the plan is guys is to uh, come into the garage. Sorry about the light difference, but um, we have a socket here. I've uh, installed all this um, uh, electricity in the garage. I mean, there was a supply in here, but there was literally one socket and one light. But obviously I redid this and that's another video you can probably find up here. So I'll try and put a card there. But what we're gonna do is come out this socket here um, and we're going to uh, go down, because this is just a radio anyway, a 16 amp radial. We're going to go into a fused uh, switch fuse connection unit and then have some armoured out the bottom. Oh sorry, fuse, switch fuse connection unit. Uh, and then a patches box where we're going to house our kinetic receiver. Um, so that's going to be housed in a, a patches box and then we're going to come out of that patches box with some 1.5mm armoured which we're going to drill out the wall into here and then clip this round, put a couple of whisker boxes either side which are then going to have flex coming out down to these little surface brick mounted lights and then to um, spike lights so that's what we're going to do we've got two kinetic switches as well which we intend to mount um, well we're probably only going to need one to be honest um, for inside and then probably one in the garage as well um, so they'll control um, all the lights there and what we plan on doing with this is obviously having it filled with earth and then having a couple of lollipop uh, sort of olive trees either end so those spike lights will be in the corner here lighting those trees up and then hopefully it will shield some of this garage wall here so that's the plan so what we'll do is we'll crack straight on with it and stop boring you with loads of spiel so right so I'm going to get this little 1.5mm armoured, tiny, tiny stuff, as you can see, through that hole I just drilled, and then it's going to be rooted up over there, which you can't see at the moment, to where the fuse connection unit is going to come off of the socket circuit. Obviously that will be fused down to probably 3 amps, because we're only running 4 LED lights out there. And, uh, yeah, so we'll get this through. We've drilled through the wall, we've gone through the mortar, and then we've gone through the uh, railway sleeper. And uh, we'll get this through, and then we'll start terminating the SWA into a whisker. Oh yeah, there we are, right. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull, pull for enough slack. If anyone's wondering what this black is, this is blackjack because obviously once it's filled with soil, you could line this with plastic, but it's a bitumen paint. So I decided to do it this way instead of lining it with plastic. But uh, yeah, so we're going to bring this through. We're going to bring enough slack through now to terminate into a whisker here, this side here, and then another one up that end because we're going to have one light here at the front one here at the front and a spike light there and a spike light there so yeah we'll pull that through so as you can see I've secured that little plate in position and a little whisker mounting plate and then screw that in and that's in position to uh, 
stuffing glands for my flex for my outside light or my brick light and a flex for the little spike light which is going to go in the corner and yes I will sleeve these different colours but I just wanted to terminate it first of all so there we go one in position Alright, so here we are. We've clipped it all the way along from our whisker box, which is there. And then we're going to terminate this end and this end now into another whisker. And then we can start connecting the flexes and stuff like that, drilling through for the lights and, and all that. So I'll crack on with this. I won't bore you with it again. Go and make a quick cup of coffee. It's probably going to be two seconds before uh, this is done, but uh, we'll uh, we'll see you soon. There we are. <sighs> Voila. So yeah, I forgot that first time around, so I had to took it, take it all apart and stuff. So that's now ready to mount down there, which we'll do. And then we'll clip this bit of uh, SWA round. And then we can start on the front lights, which we've got here, the front brick lights. So they're brick lights, but they're actually surface mounted. So we just get these open. And these are a tool station special, but I quite like the look of them. So De -de -de -de. Right, get, get it out in a minute. There we go. So yeah, they mount like that and shine LED light down. So we're gonna have one probably about there and the same the other ends so that, that's what we're going to do so we'll get this SWA cleaning into position and then uh, we'll start on fixing the lights up as you can see now we've got that in there we've got to put a couple of fly leads in there and obviously a couple of glands um, but it's all cleated around and back in um, ugh, ugh. Um, and then we've got that amount of slack which will come over and basically should reach over to here fuse connection unit which will be the point of isolation which will be fused down to three or five amps probably three amps so so yeah what we'll do now is work out where we're going to put these two surface mounted brick lights and get them mounted in place drill through Alright, so what I'm going to do is drill through this point here so I can bring my cable into this uh, into this light fit in here so that'll be about there so at the centre of that joist I think 300mm, 30cm off but what I'm going to do instead of drilling up like that because obviously if there's any moisture and I drill up like this it'll all come down on the cable and flow into the back of the enclosure so what I'm going to do Start off straight and then slightly cant the drill. It's actually pointing down at an angle so that water can't travel uphill. There we go. So that's come out there. So yeah, drilled down at an angle ever so slightly as you can see, so that all the moisture, the cable will go down, loop in, but any moisture will carry on down to the bottom rather than coming through the hole if it was sloped that way. Little tip. So what we've got here is some MYYJ. I could use standard flex, and I have got standard flex, but I've got this spare, so it's just a little bit more hardy than flex so all I'm going to do is feed that through that hole if it's big enough oh just about oh. sorry the old GoPro battery ran out right cool that's hard right so all we want is enough to come up there 
and go in at whiskers. We need a tiny bit more. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be plenty, I think. So yeah, right. That comes out of there. What we'll do is snip that off there, and then I've got a gland on our light fitting now. We'll secure in, and then that terminates in there. But as you can see, it's class two, so we don't need an earth. But we'll terminate the earth in there in a little way go. So yeah, let's get that snipped off and get this light mounted. All right, so got our M Y wire coming through there. Got the uh, little rubber bush in place, little gland. And we mounted that up. So yeah, nice and level, as you can see. So we'll do the same over that side now, and then we'll terminate these. So let's just uh, let's just get on with it because you don't want to see this again. So as you can see, I've mounted both of them now. I've just got to terminate them, and then I bought this spike light in. Obviously it's just resting here at the moment because it's not spiked into anything but it will be in it obviously once we get all the soil and stuff in there but these are uh, all LED Excalibur uh, 5 watt LED spike lights I just want to run you through them they are 240 volts straight away which is absolutely fine in the garden as long as it's all obviously installed professionally etc etc um, they come in these really nice little lids which like direct the light and then also pre-wired with flex obviously and then this is metal so it's a class one accessory so yeah fully tiltable uh, nice length bit of flex but also what I've noticed is they have coloured filters which I'm not going to be using but green purple yellow blue all sorts red so yeah it's a nice little touch if you are interested in having color filter on your lights but but yeah got plenty of flex there so what i might do is trim some of that off or just um sort of secure it down there in the corner where it's not going to be um dug over or anything because the main areas where it's going to be dug is probably in the center so they're not at risk of being um disturbed at all obviously this uh, circuit is going to be supplied from this fuse board which doesn't have any RCD protection at the moment. We've got RCD protection up, upstream, um, but I am in the process of ripping that fuse board out because it's just a dual RCD board in the house. Um, and then also I'm gonna redo this board and have local RCDs here. So if there's any tripping, it trips here rather than in the house. So yeah, we are in the process of doing that, but that's gonna be a whole different video, etc., etc. So. So yeah, what we'll do is uh, start terminating these junctions down here and then yeah, be ready to move inside, so... <sighs> right, there you go, we've terminated both of these, that one's already on. I just thought to show you the connection's very tight in there, but I managed to get a little way go on the earth because obviously these type 2, or sorry, class 2, so don't have anywhere to put the earth, but we've got a way go in there. And all we do now is just get that. And that sits over there like that. So, yeah, look pretty smart, I think, don't they? And absolutely bob on as well. Right, so, here we go. All the whiskers are terminated. I didn't film myself doing that because the lighting wasn't very good and you couldn't really see what I was doing anyway so but they're all been terminated in uh, Wagos um, yeah and then obviously the cables are all clipped um, so yeah that's all uh, it's all done and put away out here so now we are going to move inside and isolate this socket circuit uh, have a, a Fuse connection unit here, which is going to go down to a Patrice with a wireless kinetic receiver. So, yeah, we'll crack on with that now. And, uh... right, so what we've done, we've removed this socket. Uh, as you can see, I've got a live neutral on earth and a little fly lead to a back box. What I've done is got that um, switch fuse connection unit back box, and I've just used a 20mm um, 
stuff, oh, not stuffer, a, um, uh, what are they called? I can't, can't think what they're called. But anyway, we've done that. So the cable will pass, obviously, from this socket through to here, and then we're going to put a Patrick's box underneath here with our wireless kinetic receiver. So, yeah. And then that'll be the point of isolation. Kinetic receiver will be there. And then the armoured will come up from down here into the bottom of the Patris. And then Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. So, yeah. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Right, so here we are, people. Uh, I've rushed up ahead a bit because I needed to get this done. But So we've got the, the socket now. Obviously, we're spurred off into a fuse connection unit, which has come down to uh, the kinetic wireless receiver. So all I need to do now is pair these. Um, as you can see, the armour comes in. It's banjoed in, um, so it's all earth, the armour in. So we'll hold that in. Done this loads of times on the channel. Need to turn that on first, don't I? Then we'll turn that on into pairing mode, and we'll click that. And then we'll do that again. And then we'll do the second one. Lovely, so those are paired now, which is nice. So let's go outside and see if it's all working. So, bit of a mess as you can see, but here we go. And those lights are working as well. So, all in all, a nice little job. So yeah, there we go. We've just got to do a little bit of testing um, to there, but uh, I'm not going to show you that. So, because you're probably bored already, but I'm just going to tidy this up, put a blanking plate on it, label it, and then we're all done. So yeah. Hope this one was of interest to you. I'll get some pictures when it's dark later on and also when um, it's filled up and the spike lights are on in properly. But uh, for now, thanks for coming back. Please like, subscribe, comment. I like the interaction with people that, um, that comment and stuff. So yeah. Two hours later. Evening guys, hope you're well. Um, sorry about the abrupt end to the video. Um, but the battery on the GoPro was going flat, etc, etc. So I just thought I'd have a... Uh, have to go but I thought I'd come back and show you the lights as they are tonight so let me just turn some light on there we go you can see me better now so it's uh it's 10 o'clock at night and I'm just out in the garden so I'll show you what the uh, lights are like um, now it's dark so let me just turn that off there we go right here we go we've got the switch let's have a turn them on Oh, there we go. So a slightly different temperature. So obviously they're cool white at the bottom and they're warm white, but it's not a problem because once we've got the trees, obviously these have been secured in position temporarily, so they will be in the flower bed. But once we've got a couple of trees, one there, one there, that will sort of light up quite nicely, I think. And then we've got them ones on the floor. So yeah. Overall, I'm quite happy with them. Um, looks quite nice. Obviously, it's a very, very sort of beginning of landscape in the garden. So yeah, there'll be more stuff to come. But overall, I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, there we go. But this time it is for good, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. So we'll see you soon. Bye for now.